Hello everybody, uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. The title of this video is uh, Paul's Mystery. The topic of the mystery is um, still a mystery to many people today, unfortunately. Uh, the Apostle Paul specifically tells us what this mystery is, and yet I find that there's a lot of confusion about this. There's a sect of people uh, we call the hyper-dispensationalists who are misrepresenting what Paul's mystery is. Uh, they uh, represent the mystery is that uh, the people are now going to be saved because of the grace of God through faith alone in Christ alone. Uh, and that was a mystery that uh, was finally revealed only to the Apostle Paul. Uh, in fact, they believe that Paul was the first member of the church, the first one to get saved, and, and that uh, only through Paul's writings can we be saved. Paul is the sole apostle to the Gentiles, according to the hyper-dispensationalists. And th I think this uh, confusion comes about because they, they don't understand what the mystery is. This mystery is, remains a mystery to them, unfortunately. So uh, let's see, uh, for, oh, before I go into explaining what the mystery is, I want to tell you there, I have uh, other videos on this subject on, on a, more comprehensively. Uh, one is called uh, Paul Onlyism Debunked, and another one is called uh, Old Testament Pictures and Shadows of Jesus' Blood Atonement. And in these uh, uh, playlists, on these videos, I, I explain how uh, salvation has always been be because of the grace of God through faith alone. Uh, never has anybody, Old Testament or New Testament or in the future, never has anybody been saved because of their personal merit, because of religious works. It's always been by faith in God to save them. And now we know that this God that saves us is Jesus Christ, uh, who who is God manifest in the flesh, who died for our sins, who rose from the dead, who offers eternal life to everyone. It's a free gift, and you receive it by putting your faith in Jesus. So this is uh, the message of salvation, and uh, salvation has always been a free gift a, through because of the grace of God. Well, uh, so the mystery that Paul is revealing to us is not that now we're under some new s system of being saved, that you don't have to get saved through works anymore. Now you're saved by God's grace. That's not the mystery. That's a false representation, and it's a false message of salvation, uh, saying that people in the past got saved through works. Uh, Paul specifically tells us what the mystery is in Ephesians chapter 3. Uh, let's look at the KJV first. It says, uh, How that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in few words. Whereby, when ye uh, read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. Verse 6, That the Gentiles should be fellow heirs, and of the same body, and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. Okay, so Paul tells us that this mystery is that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs. Paul tells us, now here is something you didn't understand before, and that is that the Gentiles are included. Uh, God is, is not only the savior of the Jews, but also of the Gentiles. So that was the mystery that nobody understood before. The Jews didn't realize that the Gentiles would be included. Let's look at this in a little more clearly. It will be uh, understood, I think, in uh, modern translation. It says in Ephesians, starting with verse 2, 
Surely you have heard about the administration of God's grace that was given to, to me for you. Okay? God's grace uh, is that uh, God is gracious. We, we are going to be saved be only because God's gracious, not because of personal merit. Uh, that is, the mystery made known to me by revelation, as I have already written briefly. Okay, so he's going to tell us about this mystery that was made known to him. God revealed to him this mystery that the Jewish people were absolutely unfamiliar with before. In reading this, then, you will be able to understand my insight into the mystery of Christ. What is this mystery of Christ? It, he says, it, which was not made known to people in other generations, as it has now been revealed by the Spirit uh, to God's holy apostles and prophets. So Paul is saying that this uh, mystery of Christ, the mystery of the grace of God and salvation through Christ, uh, it was not understood in times past. And what was it that was not understood? He says in verse 6, This mystery is that through the gospel, the Gentiles are heirs together with Israel members together of one body and shares together in the promise of Christ Jesus. Well, there you have it. Uh, it's as clear as day. Paul actually says exactly what the mystery is. He says the mystery is that through the gospel, the Gentiles are heirs together with Israel, members together of one body. So, if you think, if you have thought in the past that this mystery that was revealed to Paul was that uh, God is gracious and we can get saved without works, uh, that's a false message. Uh, if you watched my playlist, um, Old Testament Shadows and Pictures of Jesus as a Blood Atonement, we go through the whole Bible and show you from the beginning in Genesis all the way through that uh, God saves us because of faith, only because of faith, not because of works. Uh, man's works uh, never achieved salvation in the past. All the, the works ever accomplished was receiving blessings from God. But salvation was always because of faith in God. It was always because God was gracious, kind, merciful. He was willing to give something to us that we didn't deserve. That is what grace is. So. Uh, being saved by grace through faith alone is, is not a new revelation. It's always been that way. What the new revelation is, this mystery that Paul uh, was telling us, that God revealed to him, was that, hey, uh, the Gentiles are included in this. And if you're a Gentile now, and a Gentile is any non-Jew, if you're not a Jewish person now and you're watching this, you can celebrate because... Uh, uh, the, the Jewish people in Judaism always thought that the uh, God would send a descendant of Abraham to become Messiah and Savior, uh, uh, the King of the Jews, uh, and be the Savior of the Jews. But now we know that this uh, King of the Jews is also King of Kings. He's king even for Gentiles. And he is savior, not just for Jews, but he is savior for Gentiles, savior of the whole world. So let's celebrate that uh, God made this salvation available to Gentiles uh, along with the Jews. So uh, if you understand what this mystery is now, this will help you better understand uh, all of the scriptures and don't be confused by hyper-dispensationalists that are going to be teaching you that uh, you can't be saved uh, by reading uh, uh, the, the Old Testament prophecies or the, the, the gospel accounts of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Or, uh, uh, and, but you can only be saved through Paul's writings because he's the one that had the mystery. Well, the mystery was not how we get saved. The mystery was that the Gentiles are included. Okay, and uh, by the way, uh, Paul was not the first one to preach to the Gentiles. It was uh, the Apostle Peter. 
So, uh, in fact, all of the apostles went off and left Jerusalem uh, and traveled around preaching to Gentiles. So, all the apostles were apostles to the Gentiles. So, I hope this is helpful to you, and keep this in mind as you study the scriptures. And uh, the hyper-dispensationalists love to use the term that the, uh, they are the right dividers. But uh, it's unfortunate that they're not rightly dividing, they're over-dividing uh, when they exclude uh, all the scriptures uh, apart from Paul's writings. So I hope this is helpful to you. Uh, bless you all in the name of our great Savior God. His name is Jesus Christ.